Hi, everybody. It's, uh, let me introduce myself. It's Father Mark McGee. I'm the pastor of St. Edmund Catholic Church. And this I'm is... I'm Monica Murphy. I'm the pastoral assistant at St. Edmund's Catholic Church. And we also have an admin assistant. Well, we have two, actually. Uh, Carol, uh, Carol Zubik is our uh, bookkeeping and financial person. She works on Tuesday. And Arceli de Miguelia, de Miguelia is uh, our admin assistant, uh, uh, regular admin assistant full time during the week. And uh, if you call in, you probably have a chance to speak with uh, Arceli. She's busy right now, so she can't be here just to say hello. But um, anyway, that's your parish team here at St. Edmund. Um, your school falls within this parish's boundaries of St. Edmund, so therefore we have a pastoral responsibility for your school, the school that you're sending your child to. It is a collaborative relationship that the parish has with the school and parents. It's that tripod of collaboration established between us that serves to support the full flourishing of your child as they progress through their academic career in one of our Catholic schools. It's the Catholic kind of pedagogy, our approach to education, that includes this kind of collaboration. So the tripod of parents, school, and uh, parish, the church, kind of all pulling together in the same direction. Um, St. Edmund is a community of about 800 families in a church community, a community that has been led by about 20 pastors since 1910. We're named after our patron saint, St. Edmund of Canterbury. He was the Archbishop of Canterbury. He was born on the November 20th, 1180, and died with his boots on defending the faith on November 16, <laughs> 1240. He was a professor at both Oxford and Paris, and his successful career as a professor took a turn towards a religious vocation. After having devoted himself to the study of theology, Edmund was ordained a priest in 1222, 800 years ago this year. St. Edmund was an academic, a sound administrator, a powerful preacher, and a principled person who even stood up to King Henry III in defense of religious liberty and church autonomy. St. Edmund was known to the people as a kind and hospitable man, generous with both money and service to the poor and the sick. Uh, during these days of the COVID virus, which continue far longer than we ever would have imagined, I think, um, still we remain active at St. Edmund Parish. Uh, we're, um, the parish has a mass schedule for weekdays right now, uh, weekdays at 12, 10 p.m. That's at the lunch hour, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, one of the things Monica has noticed is that, uh, Monica has noticed is that, uh, on a Thursday when it's a half day, we often have uh, parents driving by to you know, pick up their kids or whatever. Um, but uh, just thought, you know what, you should, you should come to Mass. You're welcome to come. We invite you to kind of take a moment, a uh, half hour, and, and come in uh, when you're on a short day on a Thursday and uh, you can bring your, your, your family with you um, if you ever get, think of it and get a chance. Our Sunday Masses are uh, Saturday, our anticipatory Mass, of course, is Saturday, at, uh, and it's at 4 p.m. and then Sunday at 10 and 12 noon. We also facilitate catechism classes to prepare for all the sacraments, so First Confession and First Eucharist and Confirmation. So you're going to want to watch for that uh, in your school newsletters because we share that information with the schools. We also have students in the parish boundaries, the schools that are in our parish boundaries, we have uh, students that are from other parish boundaries. So they live in a parish boundary of St. Charles, or they live in the parish boundary of St. Matthew, or something like that. So those uh, parishes may also be putting their sacramental preparation dates uh, in the new school newsletter as well. You can watch for that if you're from those parish areas. Um, but you're certainly most welcome to, to join us here. Um, we are a family of families, and we want to be there for your family. That's, uh, that's what we want to do. Our hope is to help facilitate your child's religious project progress. We're here to respond to your requests. Please feel free to call 780-455-8592. If you live outside St. Edmund Parish boundaries, we'd be happy to facilitate your access to the local parish where you do live. 
The Catholic parish exists to offer something that simply is not available anywhere else. Nothing else replaces the sacraments, the Eucharist, a sense of worship that is accomplished together in, a, in, in community. Um, there's many ways to be involved in the life of the parish community, and many people are here to welcome your participation. Sacramental preparation for your children is a clear priority, yet there is so much more available to help you in your religious and spiritual life and in your pastoral care. So sacraments for sure, but we are here to support your total family life, from cradle to grave, whether you, are, you have a need for adult faith formation, uh, pastoral care, child catechesis, uh, marriage, uh, anything that we can help you with, we're here for you. So I should also mention we have an active youth group that meets on Thursdays when schools have early dismissals. Youth group is for junior and senior high students and we meet from 4 to 5.30 unless the school schedule changes. St. Edmunds is located at 13120 116th Street in Northwest Edmonton, right on the corner of 132nd Ave. The te telephone number is 780-455-8592. We have an online presence through the Catholic Archdiocese of Edmonton website or our own website at http saintedmund.caedm.ca. Updates about sacramental preparations are also made available through school newsletters. Outside of pandemic restrictions, it's usual for the parish to visit the schools and the schools to visit the parish. Parents are always welcome and encouraged to join their children at school masses celebrated at St. Edmunds. We love it when you're here. For an up-to-date schedule for sacramental preparations, please contact the parish office and the number again is 780-455-8592. And they can, you can speak with Monica about any kind of way she can uh, direct you in terms of sacramental preparation as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right Thank on. you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>